as a kid growing up, my father was a part of this DJ group called The Wrecking Crew. Him and his brother, Brian Kid Cole, who was a producer for Bloodline Records and Def Jam, they would sit there for hours and play records upon records upon records until they got tired. And I would just sit there and relax and watch them go through the, the myths and emotions. Um, my brother listened to a lot of jazz and went to the Colburn School of Music when I was a kid. So he listened to more sophisticated types, but was willing to come here with me and listen to music that I wanted to listen to. And there was just so much of a selection. He got his little area, I got my area, and then we met up at the end and bought our CDs and left, went home, you know? So Amoeba is like, yeah, it's, it's close to home. Amoeba is a community. It doesn't matter what walk of life you come from, whether you be straight, gay, bisexual, you can be rich, you can be poor, you can be white, black, Latino. Doesn't matter. When you're an amoeba, you have one thing in common. That's music. Um, to be honest, right now, just because the like the world or Apple or cars or whoever have made it kind of impossible to listen to CDs or records all the time, I feel like I have to plug in. Like, I got a 2005 Mazda 6. Like I straight up went to a place to get it specially so that I could have a plug-in. Um, because like going through all the CDs all the time, I would just end up listening to the same CD 13 tracks in a row over and over again. So um, right now it's 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 digital because that's that's kind of where the world is. But if it was if I had a choice, it would be nice to flick through CDs again and and get a CD and put in my you know and look through. They used to come with the big posters that you could put on your wall and stuff. So I would just go there search for the sounds of different techniques and different genres of music it's all right there for you and honestly this is the only store that has it there's nothing like it and there was never will be anything else like it in the future oh it's Dude. vital it's a vibe like I, I, th I throw on music when I feel sad to change my mood or to go deeper into sadness or uh, yeah, it can change up everything. If I'm feeling super angry, I can throw on a little like, you know, I, I don't know, I can't even blank in here, but something fun like Sade or something in the car and I'm just like, like all of a sudden like jamming in the morning and like vibing and then if I want to, you know, come home on some like super vibes or I'm like in a rush, I'll throw on like Fela Kuti or whatever. And if I'm Apple Music, Apple Music, you know, I can do all of that, but and it's quick for sure so so that's that's nice and, and then they'll give me like related artists and shit like that and, and and i can discover and discover and continue to discover um so yeah it's all about history it's all about knowing your your history and music no matter the genre and when it's gone what else will we have